What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's currently like in the morning right now. I really just kind of woke up so excuse the and I, I got an interesting story about this too. So basically what happened was last night went to trim up my beard like I always do. I put my guard on my clippers going up like that. The guard falls off. I just wasn't paying attention to put it on properly and I just kept on going falls off and I, I was too late and just no guard through my beard. So I just had this like beard, whole big bald spot, beard. <sighs> so I tried blending it in with like a smaller guard just to at least leave some like, something and it just looked way too patchy. So I was like, all right, you know what, whatever. And I just had to leave something because yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Rocking the stash now. Um, I'm not gonna lie guys. Today has been kind of, I think like the first day that I just kind of woke up and I like a Eh, mood I think it's starting kind of finally like I don't know I, I'm just in that like very like just shitty mood when you wake up you're just like so good news is I actually got the vlog done and also I got a bunch of day-to-day uh, -day operations I do for the digital agency done so I got all the I guess you could say work I do every single day the repetitive tasks done uh, for today which is a great start for the morning now we're gonna let that render out and stuff and I was gonna jump into a workout but we do need to do one more thing before we jump into a workout Phoenix left a nice little meatball in his cage last night so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that out and get just to let you guys watch that and then we're gonna jump into oh and I got my clothes watching then we're gonna jump into a nice little back day so before I actually clean his cage I do need to actually this is his, like temporary holding cell um, I do need to make some air holes in this because I'm just waiting for a whole bunch of people to comment on it. If I put them in here without it, uh, they're going to freak out. He won't be in there long, like literally five minutes. And he's going to be back in there, so I'm not worried about it. But let's go make some holes. What's going on, dude? What's up, girl? All right, that is much better. Try to make sure you guys can see as much as, I, as much as you can, but simply what I'm gonna do is take them out, put them in there, then scoop out his meatball, and then after that, kind of just, kind of just move around the mulch and stuff. Here he is, guys. Say hi to the camera, Phoenix. He does not like the camera so far, so. Like I said, Phoenix is my king steak. He is two years old. He is chilling. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him in this little enclosure. Just to show you guys, like simply just kind of messed up the mulch and stuff. And all that does is kind of like breaks down his burrows and stuff he made. So that way when he gets back inside of his cage, he's kind of like, ooh, it's all fresh, it's new. And it just keeps him busy. One more look at him, guys. Go ahead and put his light back on. This is simply just a like cheap little shroud thing from um, Lowe's. And it's literally just an LED bulb. It's a black light. It's honestly just a light. It's it's not 
he has a heating pad in there already and he's pretty comfortable in there already so I don't need like an, another heat source so and he's showing no like real signs of like bad habitat so that's all it is just for show looks pretty cool I like it alrighty guys welcome to the like the main topic of this video and I got some like background footage of me doing the back day going on it was a pretty good like back day but you'll see why it's kind of like cut it short towards the end of this commentary but um yeah today was definitely weird start to the day i definitely was very like down when i woke up uh it just like when i woke up like it was just like you know i got my my sleep i needed and stuff i went to bed i don't i didn't i haven't been setting alarms so i just woke up naturally and i just like just felt this immense pressure on me and i just wanted to honestly stay in bed i didn't want to get out of bed i wanted to just stare at the ceiling and just very down and dark in my head today and to be honest like you know i don't know if it's just the pressure of all this like pandemic and stuff that's going on and it's just it's finally getting to me because i haven't really had too many bad days with it i think you know right when it was announced that all the closures and happening i kind of got down for like a day or two and then like today was like the first time so like in a week and a half almost two weeks since i've been down but um yeah like i just i didn't want to get up i didn't want to edit my vlog i was like this is all pointless you know i didn't want to do my daily sales activities for terror solutions um i didn't want to do anything i want to stay in bed i want to stare at the ceiling and just sit there and do nothing but i ended up still getting up um you know i've spent a lot of time working on my mindset i spent a lot of time i spent two years three years since i started this entrepreneurial journey and learned about how the mindset is the king if you can fix your mindset you can accomplish anything in your life and i was really all that training has been put to the test and i, I say training like i've been through all these programs no i just i've read a lot of books on it and a lot of practical actually experience of going through things and getting over overcoming things and that was put to test this morning because don't matter how amazing your mindset is you're going to be approached by these thoughts and it's all temptations and it's you know even the best people good really good people every day still get temptations in front of them and it's whether you indulge in those temptations or you steer away from them and that's where i was today and i had these thoughts i accepted i had these thoughts and I had two options laying out in front of me. Do I allow these thoughts to overcome me, to pull me back into bed, to sit in bed all day depressed and upset with myself? Or do I get up regardless whether I want to actually do these things? Like nothing in me wanted to do these things. I still got up. I forced myself. I did not let my body win. I did not let my mind overcome me. And I did these things. And through actually going through them, I felt amazing. Just after editing my vlog and started in, over and doing the sales activities for Taylor Solutions, I felt amazing. Like I, I, I just I stepped back into my mindset. I felt good. I felt just accomplishing little things repetitively in the morning put you on the track for a good day because it's those little wins that just build up to make overall good day and that's how i felt this morning and right right now i feel really good compared to this morning and the only difference was i pushed myself through it versus just allowing it to overcome me and force me back in bed and if i would have stayed in bed today i'd still be in bed right now uh, so it's been a few hours now editing this video I'll still be in bed right now, watching Netflix, goofing off on YouTube or stuff like that. But instead, I got up, I showed up, and still did the things I didn't want to do. And now I feel hell lot better because I forced myself to go through things. And that's something that you will have to do. And some people are like, oh, you shouldn't have to force yourself to do things. Well, you know what? Life's not perfect. And these are all good things for me that I just need to, you know, get over myself. Stop being a little lazy and depressed. And um, I'm a lot happier because I did those things first if I wouldn't have. And then it would have all compounded to be worse. So, yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little workout. Hope you enjoyed this little commentary. And we'll hop right back into the video now. <sighs> hope you guys enjoyed that little workout. 
Um, the only thing else I didn't get to do is just some dumbbell deadlifts. But it's currently 11.55 and I completely forgot I have a meeting at 12 o'clock. It's just a Zoom call with a discovery call for a prospect. I don't even know if they're going to be an actual client or not. But go jump into that real quick. It'll be about 30 minutes and I may do some type of cardio after. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do after that. But stay tuned. Workout, home workout, and uh, enjoying my quarantine. How about you, man? Uh, I'm doing all right. Oh, cool. I'm going to turn my video on too because I also have the hat on. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, do have, I do have pants on and everything because I know some people, they'll literally like put a dress shirt on and like be in their boxers yeah. while doing home meetings. <laughs> I do too. I have a little makeshift stand-up desk here at my girlfriend's place. So <laughs> Nice, nice. That's what looking at. It's all right, video just finished processing. This is the Zoom recording call. So what I do is every time I have a meeting, I always record the Zoom call and then send it to the callee, um, whoever I was talking to, if uh, depending on the call, um, of a recap of that whole meeting. So, And also to just send him a bunch of information that I did also through this call come up with three different uh, like sheets I need to create Google Docs. Uh, just I find myself repeating a lot of stuff. So I'm like, if I repeat it too often, that means I need to create a system to automate that. And there's three key things that I need to put in a sheet and that way I can give to people after the call or maybe just forward it to people in the early stages. So now, uh, again, I didn't get to finish my workout. So now I want to go real quick and just do a little bit of boxing. I'm gonna take you guys with me and kind of show you guys a little bit of my boxing routine all right, guys, Blake, please, like, look, it's not something shredding right now. But, like, um, I know I wrap my hands before punching the bag just because I like the confidence to be able to throw a punch without worrying about fucking up my hand, basically. I know some people don't, and especially, I mean, I'm a hobby boxer. I wouldn't call myself an any, I don't even want to call myself intermediate just because, like I said, I, I do this, I'm completely taught myself. I just hit the bag, and that's it. So... Um, I'm not looking to 1v1 anyone. Catch me on that war zone, though, if you know what I mean. If you want a 1v1. Oops, at all. But generally right now is, you know, I'm just kind of warming up. I'll usually start off. I normally do a routine, and it's basically like 30 seconds of combinations. 30 seconds of just boom, boom, boom. Like just keeping your arms moving. And then 30 seconds of like knockout hits. So we're just doing one, two, and then your two is your hardest hit you can. Um, like your knockout, basically your finisher. And I normally start like around right there, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So it's 90 seconds long. And I usually do three of those with an interval timer. And then that's one session. And I generally do two sessions per workout. But today I'm really just want to hit you know, kind of relax my mind, uh, just work my own combinations and stuff. Like, you know, just kind of practice right now. I'm not really going for more of a cardiovascular exercise, just more kind of playing around today, basically. <sighs> Generally kind of do some type of like warm up, starting off first, just kind of get the shoulders, muscles. But I mean, shit guys, start doing this at home. It's a pretty damn good cardiovascular exercise. And also too, I like boxing because one, it's a stress reliever. It's a nice little stress reliever. And it's, I don't know, I don't really do any sports. In terms of like, say basketball, so you like a lot of people been going outside and shooting hoops and stuff. I don't really do any sports. But this, I guess you could say, is my sport. I guess you could say, you know, for something that I just do on the side. But also, too, it's like cool, I guess you could say, to practice, get good at over time. Even though I'm not using a coach and stuff, I'll watch like videos on YouTube and stuff. So I guess you could say, YouTube talk. And 
it's also like good to know, I guess, to you know protect yourself in case anything were to happen. You know, I need to defend myself. Um, even though I'm not being trained by a professional, at least I have like built up the routine and stuff. And obviously, well, well, well you know, you're not going to sit there and box with someone. They're trying to like hurt you. Well, yeah, fucking course. <laughs> but you know, if you need to be able to throw a punch. You can, and you'll be a little bit better if you've never practiced on a day-to-day -day routine. So. I got this new bag over here, which I really like. So this is like a 50 pound bag right here. Really like it, but the problem is you can't really uppercut like you want. So I'm pulling them off this bag, way over here, so you can see it. It's a 100 pound water bag. Damn, that feels good. So, I'm gonna do this for a little bit long, longer. Camera battery's about to die, but I just need no music, just one of those days of just hitting the bag, hearing the sound, just your fist hitting the bag. Kind of relaxing a little bit, let my mind, come on, some mind relief. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I just showered and stuff, changed. And now I'm finishing up some work for the rest of the day, sipping on two scoops of ghost protein. I'm actually gonna end the vlog here just because I've already covered a lot today. And I'm really just sitting down, doing some work. I'm gonna see Kennedy later and all we're doing is watching Netflix. So there's really nothing else to film. <clears throat> so I'm edit this vlog and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Drop a like, drop a comment, and let me know what you guys do when you're feeling down and no motivation and stuff. What do you do to kind of like get back on track and keep moving forward? Drop a comment below. I'll see you guys tomorrow.